What's up guys, it's your boy Loon here, and today instead of a Spring Break Shred episode, we're gonna be talking about New Year's resolutions. So as we know, it is 2019, and even though it's just another day or another year, it doesn't mean that you guys shouldn't have goals with specific deadlines to meet. Today we're gonna discuss my three tips to help you guys achieve your New Year's resolutions that I'll be applying to mine as well. My first tip is to set goals high, but be realistic. And a fitness example of this would be someone who's never lifted before, but has a goal of lifting 315 pounds on the bench. That's a little bit unrealistic, and throughout the year you're going to be demotivated if you're seeing that you can't really achieve this goal so it's better to set up a more realistic one like being able to bench like 215 pounds or 185 just something in a relative range that you know you can actually achieve but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't set the bar high it should be high just something that is achievable and a non-fitness example would be zorn getting a girlfriend that's a little bit unrealistic, Zorn. You shouldn't do that. <laughs> I'm just playing. But an actual another goal would be if I were to say that I wanted to hit 1 million subscribers. That's unrealistic to me. So I'm not going to set that goal because I know that's just going to be demotivating when it comes six months in and I only have like 500, 600 subscribers. So my second tip is to make your goal scalable. And with that, that means that there's an actual way to measure your goal. You guys should definitely have a big goal, but it's important to be able to break down the big goal into smaller incremental goals so you guys can know the progress that you're at and how achievable the goal is and if you should make any adjustments down the road. If a goal is tough to measure, it's hard to really know when you've actually achieved it, if that makes any sense. And an example of this would be someone who has the goal of having abs. It's better to have a goal of reaching a certain body weight or a certain body fat percentile rather than just having abs because it's hard to actually measure, oh, am I actually getting closer to getting abs? I can see a little bit versus having an actual number and being able to track the progress down the road. And I'm not saying that having abs is a bad goal. It's just better to have a measurable goal. And so my third and last tip is to make the path easier. So I'm going to reference the book Switch by Dan and Chip Heath that I strongly recommend you guys read if you guys are actually looking to make changes in your lives. In the book, it talks about change involving three factors. It involves the elephant, the rider, and the path of a person. The elephant is someone's emotions or hearts, and the rider is someone's brain or intellect, and the path is someone's environment. And my last tip involves the path. And with that, I mean, you gotta be able to manipulate your environment to help you achieve your goal. An example of this is if your resolution for 2019 is to lose weight, you shouldn't have cookies or laying around your apartment or your house. It's best to have just fruits or not even have any snacks laying around. Simple changes like that in your environment can really help you achieve your goals. It makes your goals a lot more easier to attain. So that's it guys. These are just my three tips to help you guys achieve your goals for 2019. I'll definitely be using these tips for myself. And as always guys, don't forget to subscribe to me and also PewDiePie and like and comment down below. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Chasing for the profits, ain't no way we break the code Keep your pockets like the tropics, don't let rocks disrupt your flow We was outside with no options, all we knew was get and go